So guys, for the first step, you're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you run this one, type in chkdsk space full slash f space full slash r and click on enter. And then when this comes up, you're going to type in y and then click on enter again. Now you want to type in sfc space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Now as the scan is running, you want to head over to search again and type in cmd again. Then you want to run as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you run this, you want to type in dism space forward slash online space forward slash clean up dash image space forward slash restore health and click on enter. You want to run the scan as well. Now for the next step, you want to head over to the link which I'll leave down below in the description. And then you want to type in a DRL file that you're missing. So for example, let's say now I'm missing the msvcp. You want to search for it. And then you want to search for a DRL file. So just type in the name of the DRL file that you're missing. And then it should appear right here. And then you can download it. So in my case, I'm going to be going for this one. Scroll down. And then you want to download the correct one for your architecture. So you want to head over to search. And type in system information. Click on it. And then it's going to show right here what system type you have. Someone 64 bit. So I'm going to get the 64 bit download. And then click on download. Now you should have a zip file in your downloads folder. You want to double click on it. And then you want to find the DL file that you just downloaded. You want to right click on it. And then click on copy. And then you want to head over to this PC. Click on your C drive. Windows. Scroll down. System 32. And then you want to paste it in the system 32 folder. So right click. And then click on paste. In my case, I already have it for this tutorial purpose, but for you, it's not going to say this. But if it does say it, you want to click on replace the file in the destination. Click on continue. And now you want to restart your computer. And then as your computer is restarting, it's going to be running a scan for you. Now after that scan has been completed, it will take you back into Windows and then the problem should be fixed.